School starts in one week and Bay District school leaders say that they're still waiting for guidelines from the state on the new parental rights bill. While they wait, News 13 has discovered the school district is providing its own guidance as how teachers should handle the controversial legislation. News 13's Thomas Schultz is live from the Nelson building tonight. Thomas, what are administrators telling teachers? Hey, Tom and Amy, administrators are providing teachers with a video. It tells them that if a child is struggling with their sexuality and needs service modifications, they must tell a parent. But in an offhand conversation, a parent does not need to be alerted. We're telling people use common sense. Bay District School Superintendent Bill Husfeld says the school district is trying to answer all questions teachers have while abiding with parental rights. Our teachers are caught in a crossfire of all this right now. They want to protect the student and involve the parent. And so we've got to do that. We've that's got to be melded together as part of an eight part series in preparation for the upcoming school year. Teachers watched a 15 minute video centered around the parental rights bill. I'm finally going to acknowledge the elephant in this room. The bill we're talking about is what was called in the media headlines as the don't say gay bill. I know that there are fears and concerns that school staff are now required to immediately call a parent if a student identifies him or herself as LGBTQ. Fortunately, that is not what the law says at all. If the student makes an offhand comment or does not have concerns or anxiety concerning their orientation, parents don't need to be alerted. But if a student needs service modifications because of their sexual orientation, the parent must be notified. If a school needs to make adjustments so the child is safe in a learning environment, again, the parent must be notified. That applies to students of all ages. Anytime that there's a possibility that there's some kind of change or issue that a, a student might be dealing with, we want the parents involved. If a student wants to change their pronoun, Husfeld says parents will always be involved. But teachers do not have to alert parents about a student's sexual orientation if they have evidence a student could be abused by a parent. Husfeld says teachers should avoid having conversations with students about sexual orientation. What I have told the teachers, and I believe this firmly, is teachers shouldn't be having those conversations with students. There is nowhere in the curriculum that there's a place for that. Husfeld says those conversations should be directed to a guidance counselor. A counselor will then decide whether or not a parent needs to be notified. Now, Thomas, there has been reports that under the parental uh, rights bill, teachers can't have photos of their spouse on their desk. Is that true? Amy, that's actually not true. Teachers can have any and all family members pictures on their desk. All right, a lot to learn and a lot more. We'll be hearing about this in the future days, I'm sure. Thomas Schultz reporting live from the Nelson building tonight.